Hello and welcome to the English virtual class. The topic for today's reinforcement with a grammar focus. Firstly, a brief revision of the two infinitive or the ing form, the usage of them. The infinitive is used to express purpose after certain verbs that refer to the future, such as agree, appear, decide, expect, hope, plan, promise, refuse, etc. After, would like, would prefer, would love, etc. Also, after adjectives that uh, describe feelings, emotions, willingness, unwillingness, or refer to a person character, and the adjectives lucky and fortunate. After, to or enough, to talk about an unexpected event, after it plus be plus adjective or noun. In the expressions, to tell you the truth, to be honest, to sum up, to begin with, etc. Also, the pair infinitive or the infinitive without to. It's used after modal verbs, after the verbs let, make, see, hear and feel, with expressions such as ask, learn, explain, decide, find out, want to know, etc. After the verb help in American English. Note, if two two infinitives are linked by and or or, the two of the second infinitive can be omitted. The ing form is used as a noun after verbs such as admit, appreciate, avoid, consider, continue, deny, go for activities, imagine, mind, miss, quit, save, suggest, practice, prevent. To express general preference after the verbs like, love, enjoy, prefer, dislike, hate, after expressions such as be busy, it's no use, it's no good. It's not worth, what's the use of, can't help, there's no point in, can stand, have difficulty in, have trouble, etc. After, spend, waste or lose, after the preposition to, with verbs and expressions such as look forward to, be or get used to, in addition to, object to, prefer to. Also, after other prepositions, for example, I'm interested in reading historical, historic books. After the verbs hear, listen to, notice, see, watch and feel to describe an incomplete action. For example, I heard my brother starting the car to leave, but we use the bare infinitive with these verbs to describe the complete action. For example, I heard my brother start the car and leave, so I heard him go away. This is a complete action. Now let's practice together. Put the verbs in brackets into the correct infinitive or ing form. The first sentence reminds Sam you have to use bring his camera. Can you complete it? Let's see the correct answer. Remind Sam to bring. The second one, his comment somewhat upset me. You have to use tell. You the truth. Let's see the correct answer. To tell. The plant is too small for the pot it needs. You have to use replant. Can you find or complete it? Replanting, so the ing form. Number four. You are required to have a valid passport before you can travel. So, you have to use the two infinitive in sentence number four. Sentence number five, if must, you have to use say something terrible to John because he was furious. Can you complete it by yourself? Let's see the correct answer. Have said, if must have said. Number six, Dean was the last person. You have to complete it with board, the plane. Let's see the correct answer together. To board or to have boarded. How many of them did you guess correctly? Now the modal verbs. A revision, a brief revision of the modal verbs. Let's begin. 
They don't take S, I, and G or D suffixes, are followed by the bare infinitive, come before the subject in questions and are followed by not in negations, don't have tenses in the normal sense, also models. The tenses of the infinitive are present, present continuous, perfect, perfect continuous. Let's continue. We use must, have to, should or ought to for obligation, duty or necessity. We use can, could, may, might for possibility. We use don't have to, don't need to, needn't have plus past participle for absence of necessity. Also, we use can or can't, could, was able to, couldn't, wasn't able to for ability or inability. Also, we use should or ought to for advice. We use can, would, shall, could for offers or suggestions. Also, we use will, should or ought to for probability. We use can, may, must and can for permission or prohibition. And lastly, we use must, may, might, could, must and or can't for logical assumptions or deductions. Let's practice together. Rewrite the sentences using the following models. Must, can't, shall, can, should or may. Let's buy something nice for Sandra to cheer her up. How can we transform the sentence? Can you make it? Let's see. We can buy something for Sandra to cheer her up. The second one. Is it okay if I bring my friend bowling with us? Can you transform it using a modal verb? Let's see together the correct answer. May I bring my friend bowling with us? Number three, is it our duty to follow the rules of the game and play fair? Can you transform it using a modal verb? Let's see. We must follow the rules of the game and play fair. Let's continue. Do you want me to organize a Rogers retirement party? Can you transform this sentence, this question? Let's see. Shall I organize a Rogers retirement party? Number five, I'm sure Benson wasn't making fun of you. Can we transform it using a modal verb? Benson can't have been making fun of you. Number six, it's a good idea for Jessica to see a doctor about her migraines. Can you transform it using a model, of course? Let's see together. Jessica should see a doctor about her migraines. Now, reported speech, a brief revision of it. Direct speech versus reported speech. Direct speech is the depiction of the original words of the speaker. It's seated with the same words and sentences. Reported speech is when we want to report one person's speech to another person, but we don't use the exact words because we focus on the message rather than the exact words. Use direct speech. It's used to report the exact words of the speaker, but reported speech or indirect speech is used to report the words of the speaker. Let's not forget that we can report someone's words either a long time after they were said, so out of date reporting, or a short time after they were said, up to date reporting. In the up to date reporting, the verb tenses can either change or remain the same in reported speech. But in the out of date reporting, the introductory verb is in the past simple and the verb tenses change. In the out-of-date reporting, verbs in present simple becomes or transforms into past simple. Verbs in present continuous transform into past continuous. Verbs in present perfect transforms into past perfect. Verbs in past simple transforms into past simple or past perfect. Verbs in past continuous transform into past continuous or past perfect continuous. Also will transforms or becomes would. 
there are some modal verbs uh, that change tense in reported speech. So, modal verbs in reported speech. The modal verbs that change tense are must, used for obligation, transforms into had to, can, transforms into could, may, used for possibility, transforms into might, may, for permission, transforms into could, will, transforms, becomes should, shall, becomes should. Modal verbs that do not change are could, might, must, used for speculation, need, ought to, should, and would. Now let's practice together. Rewrite the following sentences in reported speech. Let's begin. Where is the nearest weather station? Peter asked. How can we transform it? Let's see. Peter asked where the nearest weather station was. Second one. When did the volcano erupt? She asked. How can we transform it? Let's see. She asked when the volcano erupted or had erupted. Number three, can I help in the beach cleanup day? Inquired Tom. Let's see. Tom inquired if he could help in the beach cleanup day. Number four, why is the ground shaking? Jean asked Karen. Can we transform it? Let's see. Jean asked Karen why the ground was shaking. Number five. How will the government help the homeless? He wondered. Let's see. He wondered how the government would help the homeless. Number six. Have they announced where they will set up the shelter? Louise wanted to know. How can we transform it? Let's see. Louise wanted to know if or whether they had announced where they would set up the shelter. Now the advanced passive forms. A quick, a brief revision of them. Passive forms with modal structures. We can use the passive with modal verbs in the present or with modal verbs in the past. Passive forms with verbs that take two objects also. Verbs such as ask, bring, give, hand, offer, pay, promise, sell, send, show, teach, tell, etc. can take a direct and an indirect object. Depending on what we want to emphasize, we begin with either the direct or indirect object. Let's see an uh, example here. The general manager promised John a pay rise. Let's see. A pay rise was promised to John by the general manager, so the indirect object becomes a subject with the emphasis on John. John was promised a pay rise by the general manager. The direct object becomes a subject with emphasis on John. Infinitive and ing forms. We form the passive infinitive with to be plus past participle after verbs and phrases followed by to infinitive. Example, can choose, decide, hope, need, prefer, pretend, refuse, want, would like. We form the passive ing form with being plus past participle after verbs and phrases followed by an ing form. Example, be interested in. Can't stand, don't mind, enjoy, get tired. Of hate, like, dislike, love or miss. Make somebody do something also. In the passive, we use the to infinitive after make. Active form, for example, my mom made me clean my room. The passive form of it, I was made to clean my room by my mom. Let's practice together. Each sentence can be transformed into two passive sentences. Write them. Let's see the first one. Everyone knows that she is a talented artist. Let's see. It is known that she is a talented artist. The second sentence. She is known to be a talented artist. Second. Critics say his work is getting repetitive. Let's see how can we transform it into two sentences. First one, it is said that his work is getting repetitive. Second one, 
his work is said to be getting repetitive. Also, number three, people believe this will be the last episode in the series. We transform it into it is believed that this will be the last episode in the series. Also, number two, this, this is believed to be the last episode in the series. And the last one, people think that he gave the greatest performance of his career in that film. Let's see the first one. It is thought that he gave the greatest performance of his career in that film. Also, the second one, he's thought to have given the greatest performance of his career in that film. Thank you very much for your attention.